earlier on. A Trout 91 here. I don't have time to do a proper Friday commentary. So I thought I'd do one while I'm, uh, while I'm on my way to work. It's a sunny day today. I'm gonna pick my nose. Oh God, there's a lot of traffic. I've literally gone nowhere and I'm already facing traffic. What's the topic today? What is the many things that Chris Trout is gonna talk about today? that will no doubt have us soaked in our knickers. Well, I'm glad you asked. Bloody traffic lights. And the camera's gone. Don't mind me, I'm just playing with my camera. And I've got Celtic too. I wonder if they're brothers. What am I gonna talk about today? It's gonna be motivation. I wrote some notes on my phone, but my phone's currently plugged into my speakers, so there's no point in doing that. No way of doing that either. Motivation is a funny thing, you know, because we all kind of have endless amounts of motivation. We all have very little to spare. We kind of wish in some times that we could just go to a supermarket and buy just like a gallon of motivation. And just, you know, drink it and become motivated for the really stupid stuff that we don't really want to do. If that camera falls over again, I might cry. Oh, bloody hell. Got the green P plates on that car in front. Definitely shows that you are a class driver. And by that, I mean you're an absolute idiot. Anyone who doesn't know where I work, I work in King, well, I, I used to work in Richmond for Gfinity. If anyone didn't know who I work for, I work for G Gfinity as their producer, content producer, editor, uh, Basically, I do all the live streams for them and stuff like that. Um, and lots of other bits and pieces, but there's the old McDonald's. Old faithful, I like to call it. It's always there when you need it. Need a good old chicken nugget run. God, who doesn't love a good chicken nugget with curry sauce? Motivation. See, it's, it's funny because, how long ago was it? About five years ago, let's say. I'm gonna say five years ago, maybe. Probably not, but. I'm gonna say I've been in uni for about, well, I've been doing uni for about, have I? Yeah, for about five years, technically. If you wanna be really broad and blunt and, well, not blunt, but if you wanna just, you can't be bothered to do the exact mass. Let's just assume it's five years, because I've done five terms, things. Um, you know, I went to uni when I was 18, and at that time, I was just, I had done YouTube for about a year or so, and I was just kind of getting popular, like, when I went to uni, I was on, like, three or four thousand subs, maybe, something like that, and then out of nowhere, I, once I got to uni, I just started skyrocketing to it, and I managed to get, like, eight thousand by the time that Modern Warfare 2 came out. And at the time, I was like so motivated to do uni. I was so looking forward to uh, all the wondrous joys that the university had. And I was really pumped to do stuff and get out there and go to classes and learn and stuff and uh, be with people. And then I just realized that it's, especially the one I went to, I went to Ken uh, Medway campus. It was just terrible. I hated it. I hated it. I became so pissed off and uh, upset with the whole situation that I just completely lost motivation overnight and I turned to playing endless amounts of games like there were times where I just went to I'd like come home at the weekend I'd play games all weekend you know be with the family and then I'd go back and then I'd just spend the rest of the week playing games and then I'd come back home and do the same thing instead of while they thought I was actually at classes I was playing games pretty much all the time um, so my motivation quickly shifted to something that really, at the time, I didn't think had any kind of gain. I mean, there was the starting of the machinima programs and stuff like that for directors, but it was like it, something you couldn't really hold your hat on. And I don't know, I was just happy kind of getting lost in this virtual world that really probably didn't have anywhere to go from it. So eventually, that started paying off for me. No, so, oh yeah, that's good. 
but will it last? I don't know. Probably not. I don't think it will really go the distance. And so I went back to uni after leaving uni halfway through. I went back home, went to the University of Westminster to get to Westminster. It's about less than an hour on the train on the underground. The old underground. Oh, what well, don't we love the underground? No, we don't. We hate it. But actually, it. Uh, Hey, yeah. yeah. Um, so I started doing that, and I was like, I got there, and the the thing I found with my last course is I was doing sports science, which is such a broad kind of you know like uh, degree. There's so much little bits that make up sports science that I thought I need to kind of narrow it down. To something a little bit more specific and like to be honest what I wanted to do was something in like physio physiology or stuff like that the actual kind of cardio re respiratory physical stuff that is stuff that I know uh, I've enjoyed learning about in the past and unfortunately at that university if I wanted to go there I didn't have it so I was like okay uh, I will decide to do something else. So I chose nutrition and exercise science. So it's a little bit more narrow in terms of what I'm doing. So I picked that and I went to uni. I was like so motivated. I was enjoying it at first, and then it started getting to subjects I found horrible. And I was like, uh, kind of like powered through it, got them done with. I was like, yep, good, bish bash bosh. Got to the test at the end of the first year. Didn't revise at all because they were subjects I really didn't like. Uh, I eventually redid them and got through that first year. Then it came to the second year and I was finding very quickly that YouTube was taking off quickly. And I was like, wow, this is actually really, really worthwhile. So I was paying a lot more attention to it than I normally was. And I eventually found out during that second year, I just really didn't like uni. I really didn't like learning. I'd done it for 18 years and doing it further, and especially in a subject that I was only semi interested in, it kind of like the interest went and gone. Like for my dissertation, I did stuff on like glycogen loading, which is something I actually find quite interesting. And it's something I know a lot on, so getting stuff like that done is really easy. But when it comes to stuff like cell science, it's just like, what is that about? This has got no relevance. If I was going to be a nutritionist, there is no way anyone gives a flying... Insert whatever naughty word you want to insert in here about plants. No one cares. So why do I need to learn it? If I'm giving advice to someone about nutrition, why would I need to tell them, oh, by the way, uh, plants do photosynthesis, by the way. I thought you might want to know that. Just something you should know. It's quite interesting. And they'll be like, well, I'm not a plant, mate. And I'll be like, well, you know, you don't prove it. And then they'll be like, well, I don't have leaves. I'm not green either. And I'll be like, so you're a racist? I'll be like, no, what are you want about? Get out of my office. And he'll be like, screw you, man. I'm leaving. And I was like, yeah, well, that's what you get. And then, uh, well, anyway, so I kind of lost all motivation on uni. I stopped really studying, stopped really paying much attention. Kind of just turned up when I was forced, when I had to turn up, otherwise I would get like demarked or something. Uh, didn't pay attention to the lectures, didn't really study at all. That, pay, that reflected in my scores at the end of the year too. And I was like, all right, let's, I had to redo quite a few exams again, got through that. Got to the third year, and uh, I was really motivated. I was like, right, I'm gonna see this last for a year out, make sure I do really well, etc., etc. But the problem was, I had that little stint of unhappiness in my life, and it was not nice, and it completely lost me all motivation, and I stuck in my room for long periods of time. What is going on here, man? Really simple to just park your car. Get out of the way. Like, what are you doing? You're not even parking your car. You're like lining it up next to the parking bay. Sort out the cat.
cover a piece. How you doing? There's a family coming out about to leave before they become some sort of stalker. I had to redo stuff in year three. And then one module I didn't actually pass, I had to redo again this year. And I managed to finish it. I got the results last night uh, that I have in fact finished uni for good. I got a terrible degree. I wouldn't be surprised if they give me a new degree on its own for the scores that I got, but that's that. And the reason for that was just motivation. It's just a funny thing. You can't really force it upon yourself. You're either motivated or you're not. Even when it came to doing that last module, what I had to do was that last module and study for it. And I, in fairness, I did a tiny bit of studying, but a tiny bit in my book isn't kind of like the same tiny bit as other people. My tiny bit would be practically nothing. It would be that like, I'd write out some notes for this for the, uh, the subject and then I just wouldn't read them. I'd just be like writing them out, not really paying attention to what the words say, and then just be like, all right, that's my studying done. Are these separate crossings? But yeah. And my motivation got zapped into YouTube. It got zapped into YouTube in the final year of uni. It got zapped into trying to find a job. And it's just a really funny thing how when you care about something enough, your motivation limits are endless. And then when you find something that you don't care about, can't find a bit of motivation anywhere. I mean, and it shows in your, in your work. Like, at work, when I find something, when I'm editing something, people, I'll get asked by people I work with, oh, could you maybe whip up a video or something, or could you do this or that quickly? And it's like, not how I work. Um, I don't want to sound like some sort of big shot or like a uh, some sort of ask, but I think of editing kind of like an art, and you can't rush good art. I'm not saying that anything I do is good art, but it's just like if I want to give this my all, I can't rush it. I've got to be able to do it, you know at my own speed and it will show like even when I'm done with something I'm like no I could have touched that up I could have done that better I could have added this I could have removed that I could have done that and this always nitpicking even when I think I'm finished and I am finished I'm still sitting there nitpicking at what it is that I'm I could have done better because that's motivation for you and uh with schoolwork, it was just like, right, I've done the bare minimum, let's go and play some more games, let's go do something that's not this. Some kid's staring, she's got something in her hand. She's got money. I nodded at her, she's not acknowledging me. I should do more vlogging in cars, it's not. Although I need some sort of better method for the old camera rather than sellotape and a flip camera tripod. Quick, go, I don't want to get caught by this red light. Your motivation is measurable in the amount of work you do and how well you do it. And it was my mo my sheer motivation that led me to just being able to do YouTube for as long as I did, putting up regular videos, and finding myself a job, like relentless. When it came down to showing off what I could do, it wasn't a case of I'm doing this purely because I need a job, it was because I love what I do and I'm motivated to do it regardless of where it pays off. I mean, someone asked me to do to do something for them, especially someone that is a good friend of mine, like video, cast, present, whatever. I do it for, for a beer. Because... <laughs> Not necessarily because I owe, I want to owe them one, or you know, because they're a good friend. It's because what are you doing? You can't pull over into that gap on a speed bump 
between two cars. If you get into that gap, I'll be horribly surprised. But yeah. What was I saying? Something about my ovation. Oh, I'll do it for a bit here because, because I love what I do. Every day I woke up. Every day I wake up motivated to do what I do more and more, make it better, exceed my limitations because that's what motivation is wanting and a desire and the will to do what you do day in day out and improve yourself for every single opportunity anyway i thought you guys might like that if you didn't well go screw yourself but that's that enjoy the video do drop a like rating and i'll see you later oh mate you've never driven in your life have you what are you doing? The light is green! Move!